Hey everyone, we are back. This is part four here of going through Doug's stuff that he mailed me. All we have left is these two Pokemon yellow Game Boy cartridges. Now I remember through talking to him that he said that they weren't savings, they need new save batteries. So I got new save batteries for it. But first, before. Hey everyone, so at some point while filming, uh, the battery pack on my little microphone died. So there is no audio from this point on forward. I just didn't notice the battery pack had died at all at any point during the video, so while I was filming it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit down the video without audio and then I'm just going to do a voiceover over top of it, which is something I've never done before. So if it sucks, that's why. Hopefully you guys still enjoy it. Now back to you, Past Sean. All right. So the day before, I had already tested both games. The game on the right did not play at all. Cleaned it, couldn't get it working. That game, not working. The game on the left, I got working and I created a save file to see if it would keep the save. As you can see, no save file. So that means our battery is shot in that one. I then switched the game over to the other Game Boy to show, hey look, it's not booting in this one either. So unfortunately, that game is not reading. So we're gonna have to take that apart and figure out what the heck is going on. All right, so we're going to have to take this one apart, swap the battery, this one apart to clean it, and probably swap the battery. But let's figure out what's going on with that in a little bit. So we'll kick that aside. Goodbye. All right, let's take this one apart and get to the battery that needs to be replaced. So we just have the single game bit on the back. Game looks pretty clean. The battery on the Pokemon Yellow is going to be a 1616. Now, I recommend replacing it with another 1616 because you know it's going to fit. But I'm not going to do that on this video. I'm using a 2032 battery. It's just a little bit bigger. And as you can see, the tabs are just going to be a little bit longer. So we're going to trim those down in a bit. But it's going to fit and work just fine after a little bit of modification. If you want to be safe, just get another 1616. That's the smartest way to do it. Now, I'm using a little bit of flux here to get the solder to stick a little better and make the replacing just a little easier. I add a little bit of extra solder to each of the tabs to get it flowing a little bit nicer so I can basically peel it off and peel the tab off the board. Normally this is a fairly easy process, but for some reason I struggled to get this off. Uh, it's usually just because I'm on camera. <laughs> When I'm doing this off camera, this comes right off super easily with no problem. <laughs> so then uh, I grab my little helping hands to help me get this. I probably shouldn't have put one of the clips on the, on the pins, but whatever. The game still works. Spoilers. Uh, so there, the, we freed up the, uh, the battery. Basically, all I did is just use a soldering iron and then a pair of tweezers under and then just kind of lifted it up. Now this is solder wick. This is just going to be used to clean up all of the old solder that was on the pads. Just using some isopropyl alcohol now to clean this up a little bit, clean up all the pins. Just clean up everything. While we have it apart, you might as well just kind of go to town cleaning everything. Even if it looks good, you already have it apart. Why not? So what we do here is we're just going to measure. I 
eyeballed it horribly, but you know, you can probably do a more professional job than I did. Uh, then I just used some snips. Cli I clipped down the the contacts uh, just so that way it'll fit to the the size of the normal 1616 battery that is on the board. Um, once again, probably should use a 1616 battery, but I've done this before. I'm it works it works fine if you just don't feel comfortable modifying it you know just buy the what it came with uh yeah if you're wondering why i'm using a different battery than what it came with the 2032 is just a physically larger battery so the only benefit you're getting is it's going to be a longer time before you have to replace the battery all batteries will die over time this is just going to take longer before we have to replace the battery again. Uh, you know, it, that's that's the only benefit. So we add some more solder on here. Um, oh, yeah. The, the battery is used for the save file itself. So if you have a game and you boot it up and it's not saving anymore, it's because your save battery is gone. Usually. Now, the other thing I really want to, uh, I really, really want to stress, buy a battery meant for this with those tabs already on there. Do not do some of the things that I've seen online that are just horrific to look at. Do not use a, a, just a battery you buy at the store and then physically tape it to the board. I've seen people tack weld them to the board. Don't do that. That's horrible. Okay, I get that I'm mod modifying this one, but this battery is meant for this purpose. That's just use the right thing. This was like $5. It's not even expensive. <laughs> so to use the proper battery for replacing it. Anyways, we got, we got the battery on there. Uh, we're just going to put the shell back together here. As you can see, once you clip down the, the, the tabs a little bit, it lines up and it works fine. Or, spoilers, we haven't seen that it works fine yet. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I'm from the future. I already know what happens. Pikachu. Let's create our character name here. What is your name, Dingus? Uh, yes, my age-old rival. What is his name? Farts. I'm very mature. <laughs> so we save the game, and we'll give it some time here to make sure that it works. I even put it in a different Game Boy. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, look, it's the same game, but now kind of in color. Oh, wow, I really flew through that. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the, the game loaded up. There was my save file, so the save battery worked. And also, I'm, like, doing this voiceover way in the future. Like, it's been quite a few months. Uh, yeah, the save file's still there, so <laughs> everything's good. Uh, I don't remember why I'm holding these batteries, what I was saying at this point. Um... Yeah, I was probably saying the stuff that I said earlier about use the proper tabbed batteries. Don't don't be an idiot. I think we're just going to clean this one up here a little bit with my favorite tool, which is Libman's multi-surface floor cleaner. Listen, it works great. I love it. <laughs> I use it to clean video games all sorts of plastic and everything it's just a multi-surface cleaner uh and it's great hey libman's you, you should sponsor me because i love your product and i use it all the time <laughs> all right so here's the uh the one that isn't booting let's take a look at why so uh something i'm noticing now 
uh it's it's a different battery than what was in the other one i wonder if this battery was replaced before but either way look at all of that black stuff on this i have no idea what it was but yeah if you notice i i'm just now noticing this i didn't notice it at the time because i was focused on how gross it was i think that battery's been replaced before um i'm just now figuring that out <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was filthy. I have no idea what that black crud was. It was so gross, and it was just on there thick. So we had to clean that up. And you can kind of see just like that line right there. That's where the two shelves come together, and they touch the board. So just some sort of crud spilled in there. So we used some isopropyl alcohol. Got to use that clean up all the pins here clean up all the crud there's a lot on there on that that side it was just whatever that black stuff is i don't know if it was like ink or something it i really have no clue what that was but it came off with isopropyl alcohol thankfully like, I wonder if, like, a pen exploded and leaked in there. But I also feel like the shell would have been worse. I don't know. If you have any ideas, leave a comment. What do you think that mystery black crud was? It? <laughs> look at look at that cotton swab. It's so gross. <laughs> I wonder if I can get a cotton swab sponsorship as well. I go through a lot of cotton swabs. <laughs> if anyone knows how to get sponsorships, let me know. Okay. If anyone knows how to get in with a cotton swab company, <laughs> tell them to sponsor me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that board was disgusting. Like, by far the worst Game Boy game I've ever seen. I've never seen one just that gross on the inside with just like black crud all over everything as you can clearly see as the camera's out of focus oh there it is there's the board it's starting to look like a green game boy motherboard again or pcb whatever you want to call it Got to use more of my magical Libman's floor cleaner to clean the inside of these cartridges and my workspace. Oh, look how good that looks now. Yeah, I wonder when that battery was replaced. So I have, I have no idea how new that battery even is. Yeah, so I, I use a, a pencil eraser. Look how the difference that makes as it's cleaning the pins. Pencil eraser, great tool. You got to get one if you want to clean your pins up on older games. Works fantastic. Look at Look at the difference it makes on this thing. I still use isopropyl alcohol first, but if cleaning it a couple of times with isopropyl alcohol doesn't work, I always take it apart, hit it with an eraser. I don't know why I'm cleaning the backside, but I just felt like it, I guess. <laughs> now, you got to use more isopropyl alcohol to clean off all of the little pink little bits left over from the the uh the eraser there 
all right, let's put her back together. Now for the dramatic moment. Do you think it's going to work? After all that, is it going to work? Got the Nintendo logo. Drum roll, please. Oh, there it is. I really wish my mic didn't cut out because I literally screamed. I was so happy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I, I talked to, to Doug and I, I showed him all of that because what you're about to see here is, wait for it. I really didn't time this well enough. Wait for it. Come on, hit the start button. Sean, hit the button. Look at that, continue. It's Doug's old save file. So yeah, I, I think that's cool. The save file's still on there. Um, I think it's, like I said, because that looking at it now, it is a newer battery. But anyways, my batteries start working again in my microphone. So back to you, future Sean. All right, uh, so quick little update here. I talked to Doug. Doug would like it if we were to able to save his save. So I'm gonna kind of cut this video there and end it um, because now I have to take the save file out of this and I now have to basically get tools that I don't own <laughs> to dump this file and then swap the battery and then reload the file. We're gonna try to do that. I don't have any of the hardware for that. If anyone has any suggestions, feel free to let me know. There we go, we have two working Game Boy games now, and one with a brand new battery, one that future brand new battery. I do want to note, you know, please, you know, pay attention to this. Obviously, I am not a professional. If you want to replace your battery the safe way, just get the matching 1616 battery and do that the smart way. But if you want to try what I did with the 2032 battery, which this is the one that has it in it, uh, as you can see, it does work. You just have to be kind of creative in getting it to fit. It will be very snug, obviously, because it wasn't designed to fit that. But as you can see right there, continue. Battery still works. Uh, and I'm actually filming this a few days later from the first part of this video uh took me a minute to talk to doug and then i just kind of ate pop tarts and did nothing for like a day or two doing this upgrade will work as you can see but you do have to do some modifications to the the tabs because it's you know physically too long but uh here we are i'm rambling i don't know why i'm still talking hopefully this video was fun you got to see this disgusting thing get clean that was that was awful right that was that was awful. i should probably put the screw back in it while i'm doing my dumb little outro here yeah you got to see this get cleaned that, that was that was legitimately a thing of nightmares um when i opened that up and then you got to watch me replace the battery in this we got we went from this tiny little boy to this big boy here you know that was kind of fun these little tabs went shooting across my room all right i'm gonna leave now goodbye i don't know write something fun in the comments i can't think of anything funny to tell you guys to say in the comments so just uh i don't know just type hi daisy <laughs> just to let me know that you made it this far <laughs> okay that's it Goodbye. I appreciate all of you.